This terrifying graph could help us see into the future. So this graph shows the global average temperature change um, from 1900 levels. So as you can see, it gets a little warmer, it gets a little colder, but honestly doesn't really change all too much until we hit after the 1980s. It gets even more serious when we hit the 2000s. The 10 warmest years recorded all happened since 2010. But we kind of knew that because we loved it. So this is the part of the graph that's scariest to me. It shows the future emission scenarios. So if we keep emitting a lot of greenhouse gases or if we cut them completely. Right now with the policies we have in place and the mitigation efforts, we're expected to hit somewhere between this high and intermediate range. So if we keep going the way we're going, a baby born in 2020 or 2030 would probably see about 3.2 degrees of warming by the time it's 70 or 80 years old. And for reference, the median age of US lawmakers who make these decisions is 57.9 in the House and 65.3 in the Senate. They will likely be dead by the time we start getting into these deeper reds and oranges, so why would they care? But for younger people and our children and our grandchildren, this warming is about the best that we can hope for. And if we cut all emissions right now, then it'll start to stabilize in our lifetime. This is also a global average temperature. Certain places are already feeling more of the effects and it will intensify in some areas more than others. And the effects are a sliding scale. The warmer it gets, the more intensely the planet is going to react with wide ranging impacts on everyone. 